Do you know what does have in common Dubai and Brussels? Both cities are this, the two most cosmopolitan cities of the world, and yet Brussels is very fragmented, composed of communities living next to each other, with few interactions and almost no social mobility. People from the European Commission, they work together, speak together, and sometimes they even create families together. The wealthy French people are stuck in the south of Brussels. And while the Moroccan community is more located in Molenbeek, with 40% of unemployment rate among the young generation aged between 18 and 25 years old in Molenbeek, this new generation is facing a lot of challenges today. And one of them is the mutation of the job market with digitalization and the use of new technologies. With few job opportunities, this new generation is just put aside, relegated to small jobs which offer them few added value, and sometimes jobs that will no longer exist in five years, such as bus driver. Youngsters are stuck in the district with the same lives, living in a bubble. But what do I do in Molenbeek? How did a French woman like me, who lived in different countries, coming from Paris with a master's degree in finance, end up there in Molenbeek, working with Ibrahim Wassari, with whom I co-founded Molengeek, a man who dropped out of school at 13 and spent all his life in Molenbeek? We are just opposites. But it's a great example of social mobility. And how do we do that? We are both entrepreneurs and we are both passionate about new technologies. And we met years ago on the tech scene and we had the same observation. The tech scene is elitist. And you know and I know that the tech scene is composed with the same kind of people who look alike, mostly white men coming from the middle and upper class, having done higher studies. They use complicated words, they talk about complex notions, and they alienate uninitiated people. No women, no diversity, no youngsters, which is a shame because diversity makes our tech smarter. Look at artificial intelligence, for instance. If it's only without diversity and if it's only white men coding for artificial intelligence applications, all the stereotypes will be transferred to those applications. Moreover, New technologies combined with entrepreneurship is a great way to empower people in a world of opportunities. We all have a smartphone in our pocket. We all use applications to work, to communicate, to order food. And all these behaviors are impacting our lives and all the company have to have to adapt. They have no choice but to adapt. And they are looking for IT providers to recruit. And what do they do? They recruit abroad because the needs of IT skills is huge. And just in Belgium, the projection by 2030 is half a million jobs in digital and just for Belgium. And what about the schools? Schools and universities are disconnected from the job market and it creates a gap between the needs of the market and the skills acquired at school. And in order to fill this gap, we created a place, a community whose mission is to give and to make accessible new technologies and entrepreneurship to all and especially to young people who drop out of school very early, who do not have tech prerequisites or academic background. With Molen Geek, we found a way to hack the system and to transform this generation to added value for the society. Thanks to new technologies combined with entrepreneurship, we found a way to activate talents in order to bring diversity in terms of gender and culture.
and to make that fit to the market. With 40% of women in our coding classes, Molen Geek participates to the empowerment of women in our city. With 93% of positive exits in our coding school, youngsters come with no prerequisites and they end up being a full-stack developer within six months. And Molen Geek is a mix in terms of gender and culture and diversity, who knew that one of four guys from the back end of Molenbeek would score with the head of a multinational company? Who knew that? How do we do that? How do we target youngsters which have been put aside, youngsters that no one is looking at as potential talents? So I'm going to share with you my secret recipe. I'm going to share with you the ingredients, the, you know, the magical ingredients that make your grandma's soup the best of the world. We just break all the boundaries. Molen Geek is completely free. But in exchange, we ask its members to give four hours of their time to the community to help on a piece of code, on a design, or even on a business issue. Four hours to avoid all sorts of competition. Four hours to create a safe atmosphere in order to acquire new skills or to develop a project. Four hours to force people to collaborate and share knowledge in order to raise the level of all the community. Ingredient number two, the welcome. Coming to Molen Geek means entering a community where everybody is welcome without any judgment. Welcome makes people stay. Because we don't use complicated words, because we just listen to people carefully and we look toward the futures, building projects while acquiring skills. Identity is just put aside. Last week, there was this woman, she came to Mullen Geek to do a short-term training. And she's unemployed and she's looking for a job after having been fired. And how surprised she was when the first thing she heard was, hey, welcome to Mullen Geek, did you get your cup of coffee? People are just put back in the center. And thanks to the community, you can get out there and activate your talents. Opportunities are already there. Half of the job that will be created in the next five, ten years are in digital. So get out there and activate your talents and don't stay on your own. Meet minded people and talk about your ideas, talk about your projects and talk about your dreams. And believe it or not, Big company actually seek us out. And they come to see what Molen Geek is all about. And they give talks. And they enter in contact with our students. And yes, they recruit. Because nothing seems to be less important than a, a safe man called a keen, savvy, and highly motivated as someone who wants to prove himself on the big stage. It's what I've seen, and it's what I know. And ultimately, it's what I've learned at the end of Molen Geek. Thank you. <laughs>